Hi, I'm back. You could say I'm basically a pro YouTuber now. Anyways, today we're going to talk about the Arms Dealer Grandmaster Nightfall. And to be honest, it's free. Let's get straight into it. Much like the Devil's Lair, I think the Arms Dealer is completable on any subclass with any loadout in the game. But for the easiest clear, I think two Warlocks and a Hunter will be the most consistent. Now I know what you're thinking. Laz, you're gonna say two Wells and a Smoke-Filled Hunter, we already know this. No. No Wells are needed. My group went with Top Tree Void Warlock with Controverse Holds, a Chaos Reach Warlock with Geomags, and a... Smoke-Filled Hunter. I ran Izanagi's Burden, Shocking. Ikelos SMG for Warmind Cells, and Code Duello. One of my teammates ran Succession, Stars and Shadow, and Anarchy. The other ran Izanagi's Burden as well, a spicy palindrome, and Commemoration. If you watched my video on the Devil's Lair Grandmaster, the mod setup here is the same. If you didn't, here's a quick rundown. Protective Light, reduced incoming damage when your shields break as long as you are charged with light. It's nuts, just use it. Taking Charge, so we can get charged with light. Charged Up, so we can have three stacks of charge with light instead of just two. More stacks equal the longer protective light is active. Reactive Pulse, random pulse grenade that goes off at your feet anytime you take damage as long as you are charged with light. I went with Global Reach so I can make war mine cells with my Ikelos SMG. Our Hunter and Chaos Reach Warlock both ran Special Finisher so we could all be stocked up on sniper ammo. We all ran Anti-Barrier Sniper mods. One teammate ran Unstoppable Hand Cannon mod and the other teammate ran Unstoppable Pulse Rifle mod. Let's jump into the run. Move up the ramp to your left. Using the cover to your advantage, hit the Unstoppable and take him out. Clear any remaining adds, take out the barrier, and dip. Take out this Thresher ASAP. You can then slow play the rest of this room. Use your range to take out the snipers. There isn't a lot of adds to worry about at first, just one unstoppable towards the end. Pick up the solar charge and move forward. Drop the charge, kill the war beast that spawns straight ahead of you, then sauce the barrier. As long as you still have the charge, another thresher should spawn to your right. Take it out as fast as possible. Then you can work on the barrier across the way. Clear the rest of the adds, get the solar charge, and dunk. We found that dunking the charge, then immediately invising past the adds into the next room was the safest way to deal with the unstoppable that spawns. Kill the unstoppable, move on. This next room is where you can do any special finishes if you feel like you need ammo. If not, just kill all the adds and move forward. Once you're outside, you can invis off to the left or just YOLO it and use your sparrow. Jump up and completely bypass the rest of the adds in this area. Turn around, take out the barrier at the bottom of the ramp, and you can move on. The tank room is one of the more annoying rooms to deal with. Our hunter used his super to control the adds directly in front of us. Take out the tank as soon as you can, then clear the remaining adds to your front. Sometimes the unstoppable will push you, other times he'll just backpedal all the way up the ramp to the left. Either way, push into the room, kill the unstoppable, then clear the rest of the adds. Kill the two barriers up top, then pull the switches to activate the elevator with the second tank on it. Take out the tank ASAP, then get ready for three, yes three, unstoppable champs to spawn. Honestly, you can just go to the other side of the room and snipe these three idiots without much worry. Kill the dudes on the platform, beware of the dogs that spawn, then move forward. This next area is fairly simple. None of the adds actually aggro you that much. Kill the dude in this hallway to your top right, bait the unstoppable as far back as you can so you can finish him. I recommend getting as many finishers as you think you might need so you can be stocked up on special ammo early. That way you can have your supers back by the time you start damage on the boss. Clear the adds on top and under this first bridge, then use this bridge as cover while you clear the adds on and around the second bridge. Control alt delete these two barriers, clean up any remaining adds, and DO NOT pull the last lever. Have one person climb up the chain, then jump back down. Doing this will spawn the boss right when the elevator starts to move, so you can start doing damage to the boss while you ride up. Pull the lever, kill the last few adds from the drop pod, and get ready for DPS. Use the boxes as cover, and unload on this idiot. Then when you get to the top, throw all the supers you have at the boss. There's a good chance you'll bake him here before he goes anywhere. And now, you're done. But, if you don't bake him, here's some quick tips on what happens next. Your solar pulse rifle finally gets to see some work in here. In this room, solar shields actually exist. Just post up here, take down the thresher as soon as you can, and clear the adds. You're relatively safe here, so you can take your time making sure all the enemies are dead. Once it's clear, your controverse warlock gets to go to work. Stand under the platform the boss is on, charge your grenade, and throw it under him. 
It'll clip through the floor, hit his feet, and chip away at his health. This will even proc the exotic perk on Controverse Hold, so you'll get your grenades back sooner. Remember, grenade damage does not stack, so only one person should be throwing grenades at a time. Just keep repeating this and eventually Brockus Zahn will die. And that's that. I happen to stream on Twitch and I usually do GM helps on the weekends. Link will be in the description below. You can also follow me on Twitter if you're into that sort of thing. That link is also in the description. Don't forget to leave a like if this video helped you in any way. Leave a dislike if it didn't. Comment down below to tell me what I could have done better. Probably a lot. And sub to me because it's free and there's no downside to doing so. Smile. And Laz, out.